Man, what is up, everybody? As y'all can see, man, we got mountains of radiators. You got diesel tanks, plenty of tires. Look up over there, we got stainless steel. Boy, y'all, we be at it, man. We always at it, all the damn time, man. I mean, look at that. You got a mix of everything. Copper pipes there, wires there, long cables. There's cables off in that little old bitty trailer right there. Wheelbarrow, it's full. Man, so right now, this is the bus we are working on right now at the moment. So not too long ago, I mean, Southpo, we just took off these little covers right here and started cutting these little connectors that holds the wire and all the copper pipes. We done cut it all the way down up off from there, down there right now for so far. Ah. So this is one of the Greyhound buses we're going to be working on today. Probably won't show a lot because we got to try to get this bus done today. Man. It is really humid out here today, guys. Really humid. Hey, Paza Sapo. Y'all, this big Sapo right there, man. That dude right there, y'all, he's a, he's a beast, man. She was off in his inside right quick. With all they cut it. Yeah, because we still got to get all this right here. So for right now, they just cut a hole in the floor for right now. So we can actually cut the uh, the wires and the copper pipes and stuff. That way we can pull everything down from the bottom. Instead of going through here, cutting up the floor and stuff, man. Try to make it a lot more easier on us. Yeah, we still got to get up in there and get all that cable right there. The cables right there. Got to get those thick battery cables out. See what else we got back here in the back. Man. We got more cables back there, more copper pipes and stuff and everything. Whew. And we still got other buses we still got to deal with. Man, that is a nice big boat right there. That's a nice big boat. So this little small section right here that you see us playing with, this is what came out that bus we was just working on. That's just only in the middle. It's not including what's in the front and what's in the back. This is everything that's in the middle. Right now we're gonna go ahead and cut the wires off these panels and go ahead and throw the panels back in the buses. Only thing that's left, PVC air pipes and the copper pipes, that's it, that's all that's left. All the wires is already gone from the middle. Just gotta get the ass in and the nose, that's it. Boy, look at that big old radiator sitting right there. Oof. I know y'all remember 
these old American Airlines little trucks they used to have a long time ago and we still got this one right here still running and driving we done, we done did a lot of stuff to this one to keep this baby right here running but we actually use this here for a little compressor truck is what we call it now because we keep this compressor on the 24 7 that way we can move it around the yard air up stuff take off big tires whatever we need we got the big guns that get it done and everything we got it everything i got trina over there he's crying like a little baby <laughs> he's over there crying like a little baby right now <laughs> man this little thing right here y'all it still got balls on it, man. This baby right here, she can still pull one of the 18 wheeler trailers. Boy, it's a good one. Man, I'm surprised we ain't crushed these yet, guys. Boy, these suckers right here, man, they've been sitting here in this yard for the past couple of years now. We ain't done nothing with them at all. Nothing. And I doubt if we do anything with them. I doubt if we do. Got three of them. <laughs> Got the little love bug. Man, I tell y'all, man, I'm so sick and tired of seeing these CNG buses here. Whew, man, I done seen too many of these damn things right here. I'm just about tired of looking at them. But this one right here, it's all right. It ain't too, too bad. It is not too, too bad at all. Man, it's got a lot of wire for some stripping, I can tell you that. Man, got another boat sitting right there. And CNG tanks way up there on the top. Man, I tell y'all, man, I am exhausted today. Man, my whole skin is just black, man, from that damn bus I've been working on. Man, it's so much dirt and dust up off in there. Whew, man. I think my face done turned black too also. But it is what it is, man. It's just part of the game. That's all it is. Man, as y'all can see, we literally destroyed this bus. We still got a couple of thick cables we got to get out here in the front. Like right here. We just got to get those thick cables right there. They run right up under that floor just a little bit right there. We get that baby there. We're about done with this bus right here, man. We really are about done with it. Man, that's a lot of work right there. We got all that right there cleared out up under there. Everything up under there is cleared out. Everything. Well, besides, first, besides the little bit of strands that you see right there that's hanging, the strands of wire. We done cleared that area right there out. Got the big cables out. And there they go right there, the battery terminals. I mean, the battery terminal cables. We done got everything back here in the back besides a few little small little copper pipes back here. That's about it. Little small stuff. Whew. Boy, I tell y'all, man, it's mighty, mighty humid. Two big radiators, they gone. Mm. 
that's it, y'all. That's all she wrote. This baby right here, she is ready to go to the meal now. Whew, boy. So here's one of the buses, y'all, that they picked up in Las Vegas here. They had to go all the way down to Las Vegas to pick this baby up. Man, that is a long drive. Man, they had to tie this sucker down all kind of ways. Holy, this is an old model Greyhound bus right here. Boy. I go my crush. Man. All the way from Las Vegas, baby. <laughs>